Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. I know, I have to show you these. This is from a company called Project Canvas, which is Can Visually Achieve Success. They've... Oh, it was Canvas, that project. No, the, the shoe is called Project Canvas. Oh. Yeah. Well, I didn't realize that. I thought I it was Canvas, that project. They need I thought it was shoes. too. I have guy says you get to see them in a few minutes. Unless it could be. What is Canvas? Can Visually... The company's canvas. Yeah, canvas. I have the cut. I have it right okay. in, in front it of the canvas. It doesn't say project. Okay, because it was at the trade show. Oh, it is w, It is really www.projectcanvasshoes.com, but the shoes are called canvas. And they were at a project, a show called Project. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes you kind of get you kind of twisted. And we get it confused, but that we I read all the info off to you for the so. Yeah. So anyway, there's a lot of things that are happening, including, of course. Um, we're actually very sorry about this. David Cassie, we're rather kind of disappointed. But it, the big news actually today happens to do with oh, the Guardian, the Guardian in the UK, and of course the oh, can we say this? The White House overstepping their bounds into a different country. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, for now we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. The, Gar the Guardian finds out the White House has um, overreaching powers. Oh, yeah. When the, uh, the British government was asked by Obama to basically seize embarrassing material from The Guardian that backs up what is being released all over the world now about how the Obama administration knew that they were overreaching. They had been ordered, they had a court order that he totally ignored that said to clean up your act and stop doing this. And they decided to go further, so they they asked the, they politely asked the Guardian yesterday to turn over all this embarrassing material. They refused. So this morning they just simply went in and seized it. And while the libel laws are different in England than they are here, which means you can be if, if you say something inflammatory, they can basically get you. But when it comes to news. Unless the material that they're seizing happens to directly involve the government of England, which means they have an official, official Secrets Act, they have no legal right to go into a news business and seize information, and they did it. And then, oh, what did Herbie Daddy said? Well, there were some un, un nice comments about our president and his race, and the fact that they wanted to tell, they used an unfavorable comments. We have backups to everything you people sold. St they said stole too. And we're just simply going to shove it up his rear end. So what he did was he declared war on the oh British God. news media now. And it's a disaster. It's just His ratings are going down every day as people find out. I mean, this morning they said Patrick Leahy is going to call a special meet is going to call a special meeting to find out oh, this is where what the hell did this man just do? Mm -hmm. That's what it where it's work. What the hell did this man just do? Because he just attacked news media in another country. I, <laughs> I know. It's so who actually went in there? The British, the government, British government went in, in and seized material they had no legal right to seize under British law to turn over to the uh, White House in the United States. And then Herbie Daddy said the white, okay, how dumb is our president and the Democratic Party? They had backups in places they didn't know they had them, which means, anybody ever see three days at a condor where there was backups on the backup, backups? Mm -hmm. You always create, you because you don't generally get yourself off to see what happens when you need a condor. They killed everybody in, the, in, in, the, in the, the place where they were decoding things and didn't realize that these people were making backups of everything they did. Mm -hmm. that, that, well, actually, they were doing during a Democratic administration when that movie was made, folks. <laughs> well, also since they tipped them off yesterday and asked for the materials. They knew, but uh, you never keep the you never keep the original ever where anybody can get their hands on it. Just uh, the, what you get is a backup. Mm -hmm. so, and NSA admits to errors that were ordered corrected and did nothing to do such. Yeah, when did they say this? Right after the British government seized all of the information. That they, uh, because they got caught once again, and as they said, well, this man obeys no laws whatsoever. I have the power to do things by executive order, and I don't need Congress and a court to give me it. No, he doesn't. And Fort Hood should arrest a defense case without calling witness. Because she basically, he gets to have a summation. He gets what he's going to get. He's going to condemn the United States, and here the thing is, um, that they feel that probably Obama will go there personally, pardon him, and then give him the Congressional Medal of Honor for what he did 
for the, you know, uh, bringing Muslims closer together in the world. Mm -hmm. Well, they know that basically the White House was involved in the Manning case. Oh, Herbie Daddy said, why was the White House involved in the Manning case? Uh, Manning is in, uh, in, a, in a wig and a dress today saying now what? he's free to come out as his true self, that he was not allowed to. And he, what was it, he thanked the President of the United States on his, uh, on, on gay rights. Mm -hmm. president, you know, president took a took he got the light they got the uh, the death sentence removed got the the, the 135 year sentence down he's basically going to serve no more than eight years now if he even served that and they figure Obama's going to pardon him because he was an abused transsexual and Fort Hood shoot arrest defense yeah, case yeah, oh. like that one. and Obama in free fall in popularity oh God he's below 30 percent now the more that comes out uh, of oh Bill O'Reilly. Well, the people over 30 understand that this is no big deal. It's the young people in this country that are unhappy. I'm over 30. Anybody, I, okay, we were, we were at a place with a lot of people that were over 30, and they are all pissed about having their, oh, they're taking pictures of every piece of mail that you get, that are being get sent to you now. They're listening in on your phone calls, which they said they weren't. They're taping, they're keeping records of all of your emails, which they say they weren't. Everything that they say they weren't, well, they're not supposed to be doing that, and we we have to under, we have to get to the bottom of it. No, it's just there's a lot of old people that are not very bright in this country. And soda drinking tied to kids' and behavior problems. Yeah, well, the Obama administration released the Center for Disease Control findings that soda is bad for kids, and we must stop this younger generation from drinking soda. So he's voluntarily asking all the fast food places to remove soda. He said, we're not going to stop you from selling soda to adults, but we don't want it to be made easy for children to have it. Yeah, which means they have to get rid of all the self-service thing, which is going to cost a fortune. That's, well, I don't think they're going to be much afraid of this president much longer. And anti-stand your ground PSA reenacts the Trayvon Martin shooting. Of course, they did it from their point of view, which showed of course the, they, did. Uh, they, they basically used a smaller, they did the Trevon Martin that was in the pictures, not the Trevon Martin, which basically did the attacking because you oh. don't have sympathy for a big guy. The guy that's bigger than the person that's, that's being attacked. I know. And they made, the, they made the other guy the aggressor and the one that was backing away, Martin. Oh, they did? Yeah, it was basically it's a PSA that nobody can run because they'll be sued if they put it on. Uh, yeah, and immigration advocates see Martin Luther King Jr. anniversary as an opportunity. There is nothing similar whatsoever. This is not a civil right to, to be illegally in the country. There is no civil, that's why the, the, the people that basically did civil there, rights movement. I know, it's illegal to They start don't with. support gay rights. They're saying the civil rights movement has nothing to do with gay rights either. Mm -hmm. And Indian submarine hit by explosion. I know they better get their first submarine they get and they blow it up. So they they're trying to figure out what the cause. Well, for a simple reason, submarines build up gas inside, and if somebody smokes, it goes kaboom. That's why you don't smoke in submarines. And Egypt officials defend crackdown on pro Morsi camps. Because it was always ill. Okay, our president. Well, what Herbie Daddy said. Our president Kerry and the Democrats don't seem to understand it is illegal to be to do for the Muslim Brotherhood in every country in, in the Middle East. So therefore, they had no legal since they had no legal right to run for office. You can't remove somebody from office that never had the legal right to be there. And Arizona and Kansas sue the U.S. over voter registration law. Well, unfortunately, we found out that. Um, Voter ID cannot work because it only, it basically we went into a business the other day and they decided that what was a valid uh, ID from what is not a valid. They didn't like a government ID which never expires, folks. That was improper. They didn't, that wouldn't be accepted. So, but, uh, and then you basically, we've got like 10,000 polling stations in the United States. Every single polling station is more than likely going to have somebody who's going to use, well, that's an invalid ID. You can't vote. And whistleblowers, breathtaking sentence. Manning gets 35 years in leak of crackdown. Yeah, and I forgot to bring that uh -huh. thing. So. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. <laughs> what was that one? Whistleblowers, breathtaking sentence. Manning gets 35 years in leak of crackdown. Oh yeah, well um, they're gonna. He's gonna be awarded before it's done because uh, 
But the problem comes, I was in the military. You, uh, if you're in the military, you don't have to be in the military. If you break the laws in the of a place business that you don't have to be a part of, you have to expect to be punished. Instead of being punished, though, they rewarded this guy, and they're going to continue to reward him. Mm -hmm. And an irres irresponsible attitudes toward history jeopardized Japan's future. Well, because they simply refused to admit what they did. What, what, you know that they well, they're backing off on how naughty these people were in in World War II. Now Ooh. those things didn't happen. And ACLU Muslims face more scrutiny for citizenship. Yeah, because there's not, <laughs> as many, there's not as many. Okay, Muslims are not likely to vote for the Democratic Party. But they're not likely to vote. Period. Uh. Because there's not any benefit in it. So, yeah, it, when you're here illegally, you try you just move to Muslim areas and you fit you blend in with them. Well, the other part is they don't want to register so people know where they live. Yeah. Right. right. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That um, here's the trick is is when everything is going bad for you. That is the time to shut your mouth. No, otherwise you have to wait for you to go to the room. Yeah,